automating your Google Sheet output. The whole point of automation is to remove the manual work. So today we're gonna to talk about how we can simplify our workflow when using spreadsheets. I was fortunate to be teamed up with some awesome designers for this series called Bring It Home that the MBA does every single year. And in order to execute the volume of lower thirds that we had, I ended up using Templator. And let's look at my spreadsheet real quick here. As you could see, as I scroll through here, we had over a hundred assets that we needed to turn around with this lower third. And my focus in this tutorial is to show you how you can set something up to automate as much of this as possible. So the data that I received from the NBA was the names and the titles. And we ended up merging titles over here so that it was just part of the name. But when we get down to here to coaches, they have the title. But the, the goal for me was not to sit here and enter a ton of data into a spreadsheet. So I created some expressions right here within Google Sheet to automate my output and automate parts that input into my output. If you want to see these assets in action, I highly recommend you head over to the NBA channels and check out the nine-part docu-series titled Bring It Home. I'll leave a link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you'd like more sports motion content. So let's jump into our spreadsheet and build this from scratch. I'm going to copy first. Let's copy the players and hop over into a new sheet. Paste those, and we'll spread this out a little bit. B was title, and we're going to recreate this. So let's quickly refresh about these column headers. So name and title up here need to reflect the exact same style here as I have it entered in After Effects. So name has a capital N. We have to do that here. Title has a capital T, everything else is lowercase. So we're mimicking that exact layout here. And we're not, although we're not going to use title. And then I'm going to add render status. And this is a reserve term name. And keep it all lowercase and make sure that dash is in there. And we're also going to do output, same exact thing, all lowercase. And the last two columns here, E and F, we do not need headers on because these are inputs for the output. So what we're going to do is take the name, extract the last name in this column, and then in F, we're just going to add dash lower third, because that's what we want uh, to be appended to the last name. And that's all going to come together in output. So if I highlight this, click and drag, it is going to fill this, the rest of this column. And now we just need to add our expression here to extract the last name. So what we do is go in here and type index and split. And we're splitting this at a comma. And then we need to tell it what we're splitting by. So in this scenario, I'm going to type a quote, space, quote, because we're splitting it by a space. So the space here between the quotes. If I were to go into this one, and let's say I had dashes here in my output Oop. I would split and here I would type this dash and then I need to call out which one I want one two or three so then I do a comma and say three and so when I hit enter you're going to see it says Jokic but obviously we don't want the name 
in the in the actual lower third to have any dashes. So just wanted to show you what that was doing. I'm going to delete these dashes and we're going to redo this. E, we're going to just delete this dash in here and leave that as a space. So when I hit enter, we get Jokic. All right, so if I click in here again, I can grab this dot in the lower right hand corner and click and drag down and it's going to grab the third word in every single name. So in here, it's grabbing the last name of all the players. So that's exactly what we want. And if I, let's say we wanted this to be the number, the only thing I would have to do is go in here and change this to one. And then when I hit enter, it's gonna say number 15. And I can click and drag that down and it's gonna replace everything. So change it once and quickly update. All right, so now we have our name and we have the dash lower third. So when a file is output, these are the two columns that we want to push together to form the output. So let's go in here. And if we hit equals, we're going to use what's called concatenate. And it's you can see here it says append strings to one another. So the strings that we're going to concatenate, and we can just click into them. We want E first. So we click this and it's going to fill in E2. We just need to add a comma and F. And then if we close the parentheses and we hit enter, look at that. Suggested autofill. So if I hit checkbox, great. It's saying, hey, we understand that you're blending these two together. You drug all this out last time. Do you want to copy everything? So there we go. And you can see that Jordan here is all capital. So if we were to make that lowercase, that will change there. So you can see how beneficial this is to take the assets you already have, put some simple expressions in other columns and blend them together so that your output is consistent. You don't have to go through and do a bunch of manual work in order to get that rendered correctly. So lastly, once it's all rigged up, if you're using bot, you can go ahead and throw ready in here, click in here and drag again, just like we did with everything else. If you're doing some desktop publishing, let me go over here. So we have row two to row 16. So I just enter row two to row 16 in here, and you can fire off a render this way. So when I render, this is what the file name is going to be with uh, with the extension at the end of it. So hope that helps you streamline your process a little bit more and get some consistent renders out of your Google Sheets with less work and more time back.